Derek Moss here, and today I'll show you guys how to swim butterfly like Michael Phelps. The butterfly pole generates most of the stroke's power with a shape resembling a keyhole. Here you can see the keyhole shape as the arms become wider at the top of the pole and then almost touch at the bottom before finishing outside the hips and driving right into the recovery. This angle gives a great view of the pole underwater. A lot of people have their hands wide throughout the entire pole, but that is very hard to maintain for a long period of time. As you can see here, the hand should almost touch before exiting the water. One helpful drill for butterfly is to simply pull yourself out of the water and look at where your hands are positioned. You'll naturally put your hands where they have the most power, and it will probably end up being about shoulder width apart. You can see in this clip that at the top of my pole, my hands are right where they were when I pulled myself out of the water, about shoulder width apart. The kick is where a lot of people don't generate nearly as much power as they could. You want to time your kick in butterfly so that one kick happens about when your arms come out of the water and an even bigger kick happens when your arms are coming in the water. Here you'll notice why great ankle flexibility is crucial for having a strong dolphin kick. If you watch Caleb Dressel or Michael Phelps swim butterfly underwater, you'd notice that their knees bend to almost 90 degrees. Most people don't bend their knees nearly as much as they should. Almost all the best butterflyers lift their head to where their chin rests right on the surface. You don't want to lift your head any higher than this, otherwise you'll be wasting unnecessary energy. But obviously, not lifting your head high enough will cause you to choke on water. You can also see here that during the recovery your hands should be as close to the surface as possible without dragging. Some coaches will teach to keep your head in line with your spine and lift your entire upper body to breathe, but this takes too much energy and drops the hips. It's crucial that you lift your head without changing your body line. Besides your head, your stroke should look the same whether or not you breathe. In the 100 butterfly, you can get away with breathing every other stroke besides on your breakouts and into the finish. But in the 200 fly, you'll need more air, so it's important to breathe on almost every stroke. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe right up here, and stay tuned on my channel for more videos like this one.